ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and uh, prepare and get started. I want to welcome you all tonight to our second grade spring concert. We'll start off with our uh, legal disclosure. Uh, because we're using copyrighted music tonight, any videos taken should be for personal use only and not shared or distributed in any manner. Any public sharing would be a violation of our federal copyright laws because we have to pay to use this music. So we'll just get that out of the way. If you guys would mind, uh, if you don't mind silencing your phones and shutting off any of your uh, flashes, if you take any pictures, that would be helpful as well. The, uh, the title of tonight's concert is Sing Me a Story About Weather. Second graders have completed a study of weather in their classrooms. As the students prepared for this concert, it was difficult for them to find music that had all of the concepts that they were learning in the classroom to tie in with the music. So this is a very unique concert in that every class created and wrote their own song based on what they had learned in class. So you guys are in for a real treat. I'm gonna tell you from my personal uh, experience during this week, uh, I've been very blessed as they have been rehearsing in the gym. The sound has been just bellowing out into the uh, hallways and I've been fortunate enough for days to be able to listen to them sing and they did a fantastic job. So again, you guys are in for a very special night. Uh, the classes that are participating tonight would be uh, all of the second grade classes, Mrs. Scheidler's class, Mrs. Banks, Mrs. Musselman, Mrs. Malco. Mrs. Gongler, Ms. Sewell, and Mrs. Ramsey, Ms. Jackson. Um, I'd like to have a special thank you to all the second grade teachers and the IAs. They've had to modify their class schedules in order to get the rehearsals in. Uh, the custodians and uh, Mrs. Freeman has been very helpful with getting in there and helping out as well. I'd also like to thank our office staff and the rest of the uh, Columbia family. It, it's amazing in a production like this how many people actually come together to make something like this happen. So uh, I thank everyone for that. A special thank you to Mrs. Weaver for all the time and the energy that she has put into uh, making this concert what it is tonight. Uh, she does a fantastic job and, uh, and I'd personally like to thank her. Quick reminder that we have a ice cream social uh, that will be in the library. Uh, originally it was going to be in the cafeteria, but we have moved that location to the library, which is if you go out these doors and make a right, if you came in the front doors, it's, it's right next to the front doors, and if not, just head out to the right and you'll see it right there. Cost is a dollar, and the proceeds of that uh, go to our uh, PTO organization, and they will uh, use that money to help fund projects and, so, and get supplies and stuff uh, at Columbia. So, um, we, we thank them for uh, being a part of this as well. At the end of the concert, the students in Mrs. Scheidler's, Mrs. Malco, Ms. Sewell, and Mrs. Musselman's class will meet the parents over at the library doors. And the students in Mrs. Banks, Mrs. Gongler, and Mrs. Ramsey's will meet their parents out uh, right out these doors to the, uh, to the left where Zebby is located. They'll, be, they'll meet you guys out there. Uh, the last thing that I just want to say is thank you to RTC. Uh, they will be filming tonight's uh, concert for us. And in a, a few days or a week, that will uh, appear on Channel 4, so you can see it there. And if you're interested in purchasing a copy, uh, you can also uh, contact them, and you can buy a copy as well. So thank you for coming tonight, and uh, enjoy.
studying about weather and that is what our concert is all about. So sit back and enjoy singing a story about weather. Isn't weather part of science? Yes, weather is a part of science, but we may read and learn many stories about the weather. A story about weather is called nonfiction. We have complete research on several topics that support our study of weather. We are not just here to tell you about the weather. We wrote songs so that we can sing you a story about weather. Our first song tells us about the water cycle. The water cycle is a big part of the weather. The water cycle is the journey water takes as it goes from the land to the sky and back again. Please listen to the song Go Around the Water Cycle, written by Mr. Strider's class to the tune of a song of Mary Poppins, Step in Time. <laughs> Why? 
wind is something that is a part of our weather. We cannot see it, but we can see the effects of wind as we watch trees and other things blow around. Strong winds are always a part of big storms. This song does not tell us about facts about the wind, but it does tell us about our favorite things to do on a breezy day. Let's go fly and kite up to the highest height. Let's go fly and kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, let's go fly and Our sun is an important part of the weather. The sun is the closest side to the earth. The sun is made of hot gases. We can feel the warmth of the sun here on the earth, even though it would take us three years to get the sun using a rocket or spaceship. The sun not only heats up the earth, it also helps plants grow. We get solar energy from the sun. The heat from the sun helps to evaporate water from the earth as part of the water cycle. Our next song is about the sun. It was written by the students in Mrs. Malcolm's class to the tune of Farmer Liddell. Why did the weather ask for privacy? It wanted to change. What did the North Pole say to the equator? You're hot stuff. <laughs> Why did the wind finish the test for anyone else? He thought it was a breeze. What falls but never gets hurt? I don't know what falls but never gets hurt. The rain, all kidding aside, our next song tells us about the seasons.
It was written by Miss Soulska, so it was sung to the tune of one of her favorite songs, The Down by the Bay. <laughs> Muslims class learned a lot about the different clouds. Clouds are made from water droplets that float in the sky. The clouds found in the middle of the atmosphere are alto clouds or alto cumulus. High clouds are wispy, very light, and hairy. If nevis is part of cloud, that means that, that cloud carries precipitation. Sometimes low clouds get so low it touches the ground. We call that fall. Nimbus clouds are the really big clouds. They're sometimes called thunderheads. This song called Types of Clouds was written by Mrs. Musselman's class. We read it to the tune Jingle Bells. Precipitation is some proof of water that falls from the sky. What kind of precipitation can we see depends on the temperature of the air. This song called Precipitation was written by Mrs. Banks' class to the tune of Tidio.
When Miss is gone, we're class reaches storms. We found the most important information of what to do when a storm is coming. When you listen to the experts, most times you have time to be prepared. Our next song was written to the tune of Alabama Gal. <clears throat> Storms are, are a come, and then when by Mrs. Gower's class will tell you how to be prepared for next storm that comes our way. Curious about blizzard like water. We had to do a special song just for the blizzard. that we have is caused by what is called a poor vortex. 
You will find a pole vortex, apples, and shelf poles. Most of the time, a strong jet stream swirls around the pole, causing this area of the world to be a frozen tundra. Cool dense air will cause a dip in the vortex stress, which can bring extremely cold temperatures. It gives us a taste of what it must be like at the North Pole. The students in Mrs. Ramsey's class thought it was important to learn about the weather so they know what to blame when you have a little snow days to make up. Our next song was written by Mrs. Ramsey's class being sung to the famous American folk song, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. August stories must come to an end, even what about the weather? We hope you have learned a lot about the weather like we have. We also know that there's not much we can do to control the weather. But no matter what the weather might be, we can make the best of it and have a zippity doo da day. tonight. Um, this was a, a challenge and I think they just hit a home run tonight, knocked it out of the park. So proud of them. What do you think? I think we need to
to celebrate next week. Think so? Yeah! Great. Reminder, there's ice cream in the um, library tonight. And again, thank you all for coming.